Good morning, little man. Good morning. Good morning. I love you. Good morning. I know, it's morning. <laughs> Say so we do this every morning. We get up. Well Harper sleeps till about six. Six or six thirty. Then we get him a bottle and bring him in here and he sleeps with mommy for like another two hours in the bed. Right? Right. I know and then we cuddle and then we cuddle. Mm -hmm. Mommy cuddles. Uh, mommy cuddles. Is my favorite part of the day. Good morning, Harper. Say good morning, Dad. Good morning. Good morning, Daddy. You give him my arm workout. Yeah. And what else? Oh, it's so bright. Tell him. Say good morning. Yeah. Yeah. We're on our way to take Mom to Soul Cycle to teach her morning class. Do you like teaching morning classes? I like teaching a morning class a week. <laughs> I like teaching high, but I do love this Thursday class, always. He's rocking it up. Oh, yeah. We have fun. Hi. Today's outfit is killing me. That's mom, you know. Hi. I can hope to emulate mom. Harper. Harper, pound it. Whoa. Pound it. Good, how about you? Harper's dream in life. This is hilarious right now. Look Harper. Oh look, he, now he took it off. He's satisfied now. Now he's leaving. Harper, you know how hard they had to work to put those shoes up there, and you just you so just hard. Draw, Let's I cheers. mean, and now you're just gonna leave your mess? That's, That's not what hilarious. we do, Harper Ellis Ward. We don't leave our mess. He's like, I'm moving on to some, make some more messes. He's like, what size are you looking for, actually? Need a 43. Are you big boy? Are you a 43? Big boy? So dad wears a 49. What? Yeah. Wow. So I just taught my uh, first class of the day. I have three classes a day uh, on Thursdays. Um, so I get lots of exercise in. Um, yeah, so it was really good. I, If you're ever in New York City, I say this all the time, if you're ever like visiting and you just want to come and try soul cycle just come and try it like I tell people all the time you can start at any fitness level any anybody can come and do it um, it's dark in there which is wonderful we do it by like candlelight which is so nice you could sit in the back you nobody judges you and that was a thing that was so attractive to me when I first started riding at soul cycle five years ago is that I didn't feel like it was like one of the first fitness places I've ever been where I didn't feel like I was being judged because I wasn't perfect or I wasn't thin enough or strong enough or whatever so I, I mean I obviously soul cycle is like you know one of my main jobs and I, I I mean it's like 
such a blessing that I get to do this because I love it so much. So, so anyway, so we go and do that on Thursday morning. Ben works from home on Thursday so he can take care of Harper because today is one of my big busiest days. I teach two more classes later on this evening. Um, so we just need somebody to take care of Harper. So he does that. But we always tend to grab something to eat on Thursdays after. We don't eat out a ton. But like, you know, there are just some days that are just easier to grab something. So we usually grab uh, food from Hale and Hardy, which I was going to say, I don't see a little logo on here. But anyways, it's a soup place here in New York, which I, I love Hale and Hardy. Everything is made, all the soups are made from scratch. They have the calories, they have like vegetarian options, vegan options. Um, and you know, for me, I don't do dairy, so it's so nice for me. And they show you everything like on the board, how many calories. So we love it because it's a lot of them are low calorie, great ingredients, um, and they're, it's just delicious. Even though I know it's the summer and it's hot, but Harper loves it because they also give free bread. Free bread? Do you like the free bread? And so I always let because I don't eat the bread and neither does Ben. So we give the free bread to Harper and he likes to eat it. Look at all those seeds on there, nummies. Eat your bread. Eat that bread. Nummies. It's just a little snack. <laughs> You're silly. He's just so good. Anyway, so um, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. Now we're headed back home um, for the afternoon and then we head out again. So just to kind of like nothing really super interesting going on today, but just like a regular run of the mill New York City kind of day, you know? Harper's taking a nap, Olivia's taking a nap, Ben has to get some work done. Let's do it. Oh. Round two. Soul Cycle round two, Harper. Are you ready? Go take mommy to teach. Gonna hang out and dad's actually gonna take her class. Ooh. Wow. He's gonna really make it, she's gonna make it really hard for me. Oh, Is yeah. that right? Always. Are you gonna play Coldplay? No. Oh. I played Coldplay last night. Yeah, but every time I, I take your class, it should be Coldplay. <laughs> there should always be Coldplay. I mean, I love me some Coldplay, but you gotta mix it up then. I missed CrossFit this morning because I stayed up way too late. And so I am going to take Olivia's class. And our good friend Jen Jacobs, you met Jay the other day, she is watching Harper. She's going to take the 6 p.m. I was going to take the 7 p.m. while she watched Harper. But she's having a little bit of soreness like in her foot. And so she's going to watch Harper. So I'm going to try to do 6 p.m. Let's do it. Hey there. Dad made the six o'clock class. Thank you to Miss Jen. Anytime. Hey everybody, this is Jen Jacobs. You met Jay the other day. This is his daughter. Hi. Hey guys. Say what's going on. We had so much fun today, right Harper? So they went to the swings. And Jen and Jay take amazing social media pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how y'all do it. Like what's up with that? <laughs> we tried. I'm always like, send me your pictures. I'm Thank gonna post so them. Much. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for the photo cred. So, we have fun, fun. Dad got his workout in. Harper had a good time. Jane got to play with Harper. That's it. If you guys didn't know, in Olivia's Soul Cycle class, there's always a moment where she kind of yeah. shares an inspirational, Harper really likes it, or motivational moment or something. I mean, literally, people come out of that class like crying and like, how did you know what to say to me? So, we thought tonight, 
Harper does need some encouragement, clearly, that she could kind of tell you what she talked about. Because we always talk about that. What'd you talk about? Or before she's going in, she's like, what am I going to talk about? So uh, we thought we'd share with you what she talked about tonight. How about that? Hey. Oh my gosh. What a ham hog you are. What a ham hog you are. Oh my goodness. If you've ever been to New York City, you know there's like a pulse to the city and there's um, there's like almost like a beat that, that you feel as you walk down the street. And I was just talking about how when I first moved here, that was one of the first things that I realized the pulse of the city is just is a little bit quicker than um, what I was used to. And although I dove right in and like, you know, I walked that beat. I always walked with my eyes down and I was ashamed and embarrassed of who I was because I just, my only value was in what my body looked like. And over the years, after being on Biggest Loser and, and getting healthy, um, I realized that, you know, to walk with your head high and your eyes open and looking at people in the eye and being proud and confident of like your value and your worth takes practice. And I'm so thankful that I live in a city that has such a strong pulse and beat that I can walk down the street confident in who I am, what I want, what I want to be, what I want to do. I can look at people and smile and pass that on and know that my value is not just in a number on a scale, but it's who I am as a person. And I, that's what I really learned living in New York city and continue to learn. And so, and that really resonates with people because obviously we're in New York city. So, but I just want to encourage you, you know, if you're fine that you just, you walk around with your head down because you're embarrassed about who you are, just know that all it takes is just to find the pulse of and the soundtrack of your life and just to lift your eyes and lift your lift your head and walk proudly in who you are no matter what part of the journey you're on. So yeah, that was what we talked about today. It was great. It was good. What do you think, Harper Ellis? What do you think about that? Do I get a thumbs up? Daddy, do I get a thumbs up? Give it a thumbs up. Everybody thumbs. else give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'll take a thumbs up. <laughs>